NBC's Emily Ikeda has more on the story. Joins us from St. Louis. Emily, good morning. Savannah, good morning. Investigators say one of the most revealing pieces of evidence was found in the suspect's car. A handwritten note where the teenage gunman called himself an isolated loner. The FBI says it's seen an uptick in threats since Monday's school shooting. Authorities warn even jokes will be met by serious action. This morning, law enforcement encouraging people to report concerning behavior or comments, underscoring the importance of see something, say something. Savannah. All right, Emily, thank you. All right, we've got a lot. NBC News correspondent Emily Akeda joins us now from St. Louis with more of those latest details. Let's get right into it. And this note in his car, what did it say? And what are investigators confident or how are they confident that it was actually written by the shooter? Chanel and Vicky, really a chilling note, perhaps one of the most revealing pieces of evidence for uh, what was going on inside of the shooter's mind ahead of carrying out this rampage, according to police. They read an excerpt from that note, which read in part, I don't have any friends, I don't have any family. In this shooting, tell us what they're saying about their loved ones, how they want them to be remembered. Well, obviously, Kushka and the sophomore Alexandria Bell both described as friendly and warm. The teacher considered a great mentor. The student considered warm, friendly, and a lover of dance. Now, uh, the pain really extends beyond uh, those directly impacted. So many people witnessed that Monday's massacre, just the awful uh, sounds of gunshots ingrained into their... There will be another vigil tonight outside of the school, including a balloon release. Uh, some people are starting to collect their belongings from the school this week, but it will likely be weeks before students and staff will return for full in-person instruction. Vicki and Chanel. Emily, do we know from the police or school if officials or if anybody filed complaints or raised concerns about the gunman while he was there as a student? Well, those are among the list of unanswered questions at this point. You'll notice I'm standing outside of police headquarters in St. Louis. That's because we're hoping to learn more in a press conference scheduled in just a matter of minutes. Uh, they have already said, police have said that he has no criminal history, but he may have been suffering from a mental illness. Guys? All right, we'll have to see what happens there. NBC News correspondent Emily Akeda. Thank you, Emily. You're walking by her classroom for the first time since the shooting spree. What do you remember from Monday? the school's checkpoints. Can you tell us if he had to break glass to get into the building, though? And Lester, we're learning tonight, authorities believe the gunman was targeting the school and certain individuals, but the rapid police response and a potentially malfunctioning gun helped prevent even more bloodshed. Lester? Yeah, the details that keep coming out are stunning. Thank you.